quarantine to always being on the scene. Selah Productions Incorporated has birthed Selah Spot, and it is hot, hot, hot. Flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire, as Minister Javon Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the Kavad, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Selah Spot, the virtual view. God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercy is renewed every morning. Join us for fire straight down from heaven as we go to war through prayer with Selah Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Javon Ophelia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Selah Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to selahprayerline at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Selah Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good. Harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land, and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing through. Fresh wind blowing through. Fresh wind blowing through. Holy Ghost fire. Fresh. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, on this week. God, we thank you, God, for you are a faithful God. O God, the psalmist said that when he cried out, O God, in trouble, you came and you rescued him. O God, we thank you, God, for answering us, O God, out of your thunder clouds, Psalms 81. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that you are an answering God. And that, God, that your very ruach, oh, God, your breath of blessings, oh, God, your zoe of life, oh, God, is showering upon us on this week. So, God, we thank you for life. We thank you, God, for eternal life and salvation. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for the zoe life, oh, God. Oh, God, you are a faithful God. Oh, God, as we embark upon the resurrection season, oh, God, we come to you, oh, God, in gratefulness and with a grateful heart. Great is thy faithfulness, oh, God, towards you. Oh, God, we thank you for Lamentations 3 and 23. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for Jesus Christ, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you for the Lamb of God. God, we are grateful, God, that you have blessed us, oh God, to live with you, oh God, in an eternal state, oh God, after we leave out of this earth realm. Oh God, it is a privilege, oh God, to serve you, Master, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for your faithfulness, and we thank you, God, for your commitment, and God, we thank you for your long suffering. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, oh God, bless every bereavement family of the world. Oh God, bless them, oh God. Oh God, allow them to be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Oh God, we praise you on this day. We praise you on this week. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are making making a way out of no way. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are making a stream in the desert. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are parting the Red Sea for us, oh God, that we will walk on dry land, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for no worries, oh God. We thank you, God, that we are walking on dry land, oh God. Oh God, we thank you that the waters, oh God, shall not consume us on this week. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, that you are our Father art in heaven. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, that you are our Father 
which are in heaven. Oh God, we are grateful, God, unto you. Oh God, we thank you for the heavens, oh God. We thank you for the heavens, oh God. We thank you, God, that the heavens and the angelics, the archangels, oh God, are fighting for us on this week. We thank you, God, for the angel Barashael. We thank you, God, for all 400, oh God, all 496,000 of his angels, oh God, that's protecting us, oh God, and protecting the gateways to our blessings. Oh God, no more delays. Ezekiel 12 and 28, no more stops, no more blocks, oh God. We thank you, God, that we are under an open heaven on this week. Oh God, shower down upon us, oh God. Shower your blessing down, oh God, blocking the hand of the enemy. Oh God, because we are your children, oh God, we walk in your authority, oh God, we tread upon the head of the serpent of this week. So God, we say thank you, oh God. We thank you for victory in the third month, oh God. Reset, revitalization, oh God. We thank you for restore on oh, this week. We thank you for Joel 2 and 25, oh God, that you are restoring the years, oh God. Every single God that the devil has stolen from us, oh God, we take it back by force in the name of Jesus. Oh God, for the kingdom of heaven, oh God, suffer violence, oh God, but the violence take it by force. So God, we take back, oh God, we take back every single God that the devil has tried to steal from us, oh God. We take it back this week, oh God, by your holy fire. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are blessing us on this week. We are blessed in the city and we are blessed in the field. Say it. I am blessed in the city and I'm blessed in the field. Oh God, I lift this prayer up to you, oh God, in the third dimension where you live. Oh God, we praise you on this week. Oh God, we thank you on this week that you are blessing our families on this week, oh God, that you are carrying us, oh God, in your very ruach on this week. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, I thank you for this prayer. I thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice. I thank you for the nations, oh God, in Jesus' name. I pray, amen and amen. You are the word at the beginning. One with God. Hello, hello, hello. Amen. I just kind of slipped on in like the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> God's blessings to all of you that's watching on today. If you are watching me, let me know. Say, Minister Javon, I'm on and I am watching you on today. Amen. I hope that everybody's doing well and doing well and doing well glory to glory to glory amen i want to get these numbers up i'm so excited that you decided to watch see last spot the hottest spot in the nation i promise you i promise you we are the hottest spot in the nation miss andrea the the camera thing is kind of tilted can you come and fix that for me just do that to me just yeah, there we go. I look, I look like I was falling just away. Just away. There we go. You can leave it alone. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Miss Andrea is still trying to be our tech person. We are still looking for that special anointed person. Amen. We came on earlier, but we got off because we want to make sure that it's clear. And so I hope that all of you all can see me. Hello to Mrs. Gwen Kirkland. Hey, Miss Shelly, thank you so much for coming on. My God from Zion, God is good. Am I right about it? When it was raining early, I told my assistant, I said, God is showering down blessings upon his people. I'm telling you, you are waiting for God to do something for you. The third month, the number three, reset, revitalization, and restore. It reminds me of Joel 2 and 25. God says, I am restoring the years. That the keeper worms consumed away from you. What does that mean? Everything that you have lost, God says, I'm giving it back to you. Miss Andrea, the comment section is going. You may want to take a peek. I want to see who's talking to me. So if you feel like the enemy has taken something from you, the third month is your month. I promise you, God is doing great and marvelous and wonderful things in the third month. 
Today is 325. Am I right about it? I'm telling you, the third to 25, two plus five, my God from Zion, two plus five is seven. My God, I look at it as three, seven. Am I right about it? I'm a numbers person. God has anointed me to understand numbers. And so I'm telling you, God's been showing me numbers since I was a little girl. And I am grown and I'm still learning what some numbers mean. Amen. And I'm telling you, God is doing it. I want you to be encouraged today and today. I want you to know that great is that faithfulness. If God has said it, if he's not able to perform it, he's able to perform it. He's well able to perform it concerning you. God is faithful. Am I right about it? Michelle says, yes, he is. I'm telling you, how, people, how many people know? Oh, I feel the anointing in the building. How many people know God to be faithful? I'm talking about knowing that you know. That's the old Baptist religion, how many Shelly? I'm talking about know that you know that you know that God is faithful. Great is that faithfulness. If you're looking for that in the word of Lamentation 3 and 23. I see it all of, all of the time. Why do I see it all of the time? Because the Lord showed himself to be faithful to me. I'm telling you, it wasn't until after I lost my mother in 2019 that I really saw the faithfulness of God. I mean, I had seen it, but I really see it now. God is a faithful God. If you know God is faithful, I want you to give me some help. I want you to give some help on the screen. If God has been faithful to you, I'm talking about even giving you the thing, even not giving you the things that you wanted, because he knew the best for you. God sees the best for me, huh? What is, what is, what is that man that sings that song? Help me, love and self. God, he saw the best for me. So the Lord allowed you to have the best, not the things that we want, but the things that we need. Am I right about it? I'm telling you, God is a faithful God. Am I still blind? It's still, it's, okay, praise God. Amen, amen. I'm not going to stay in the blurry trip. Because I got to get this word out, amen. God wants me to talk to his people on today. God loves you so much. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how you feel, but what does matter is your faith. It doesn't matter how you feel, but what matters is your faith. What did God say? It doesn't matter what you see. It's what God said. Am I right about it? We're talking like that. It doesn't matter how you feel. God is not a mental God. I mean, God is a mental God. He is a mental God. God is not an emotional God. He cares for us. He's long suffering for all of us. But at the end of the day, the law requires his servants to operate in order and in obedience. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Because some of us are wondering, God, what is really going on? That's fine. You can know it just a little bit. God, what really is going on around me? God, where am I? What am I supposed to be doing? Am I pleasing to you? Some of us are wondering and asking God questions on today. God, what's going on in my marriage? God, what's going on with my job? Lord, what's going on with my health? God, what in the world is going on with my finances? I want you to hear me on today. I come to talk to you on today. I promise you I'm not going to hoot. But God is asked, God wants us to know that he is answering the hard questions on today. I'm trying to wait for it to clear. Is it getting worse? Is that what I'm seeing? Okay. God wants us to understand that he is God of everything. God is God of everything. Am I right about it? That means God is God of everything concerning you. See, I didn't come to preach that today, but I'm going in that direction because I feel people pulling on me. We got people, I mean, even in the midnight hours, even in the early morning, we got people laying down and asking God, what is really going on? When will my child straighten up? When will my child really accept you? When will my husband decide to be faithful? When will my husband be healed from his sickness? When 
or my relative be called from the dead bed? When will the, the healing really happen in my own body? God says I'm God of everything. This is life lessons edition. What are we talking about? Life lessons. Because life has served us. The life has served us. Am I right about it? Today we're going to talk about channeling through life. Channeling through life. My God from Zion. I want you to put the word channel in the thread. Channeling through, through, through life. You know, channeling. What is channeling? Direct toward a particular end or object. That means we, we are headed somewhere in life. Am I right about it? It's not how you feel. What matters is your faith. Oh, I feel that for someone on today. The hard questions, God says, I'm answering you out of my thunder cloud. Psalms 81 and 7. God says, I'm answering you out of my thunder cloud. Am I right about it? We channel through life all the time because life serves us. The song says in 81 and 7 of Psalm, he says that, that you called out to me in distress, and the Lord said, I came and I rescued you. Oh, I like that. How many people need God to rescue them on today? Because the channeling is overwhelming. God says, I've already made a Red Sea experience in your life. Some of you that's listening to me, that's watching me, even those that's not plugged in, you're still watching me. The Lord says, you watch me channel in your life. God says, you, you watch me split the Red Sea in your life and you walk through on dry land. God says, I'm still that same faithful God. Is that anything too hard for God? When Sarah became pregnant, before she was pregnant, my God from Zion in the book of Genesis, and the Lord, the Lord came in a form. He had angels with him, and he told Abraham, he said, your wife, Sarah, is going to have a baby. I think at that time, her name, I think it was, it was Sarah. It wasn't Sarah. And when Sarah kind of, you know, kind of peeked in and listened, she laughed, and, and God, God said, why did you laugh? And she said, I didn't laugh. The Lord said, well, but you did. Oh, I feel the anointing and the glory. God got me going another direction. The Lord wants you to know if I did it before, I could do it again. God says, I come to encourage you on today. God says, I will make another Red Sea experience in your life. Stop worrying about the bills and how you're going to get paid. God says, paid in full. Stop worrying about how your children are going to get this and that. The Lord says, paid in full. Oh, I want you to catch it. God wants to increase our faith. God wants to increase our faith. Am I right about it? I want you to catch it on today. Stop the press. Stop the press. My staff is letting me know. My prophet, my bishop is on. Antoine Michael Jasmine. My God from Zion. Thank you, man of God, for gracing us with your presence on today. If you are looking for fitness and trying to get healthy, you can watch my bishop every Thursday at 12 noon. Sometimes he runs a little late like he was today, man, but he's coming on. He wants some 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 uh, tips on how to lose weight because I'm fighting right now. I'm fighting, God, but I'm winning. It's a slow process, but I'm, I'm winning. I promise you, y'all going to see me and say, Minister Javon says slimming, amen. I'm telling you, I see it by faith. I just got to leave those cookies alone, amen? But if you want to get some tips on how to be healthy, I watched the broadcast from last week, and I'm telling you, I've been drinking my water, amen? Because water make your skin nice and pretty, make you very healthy. So if you want to get about, know about fitness, watch Antoine Jasmine Page on Thursdays at 12 noon, amen? But God says, I'm faithful. The Lord says, I'm faithful through channeling, through life. This is the life lesson tradition, channeling, trying to go 
into one direction, trying to reach one goal. Some of you say, Minister Javon, it's been hard. I'm living from check to check. I'm waiting for God to do this. I'm waiting for God to do that. God says, but I'm faithful. He said, I am the sovereign redeemer. Oh, I felt the glory just now. My God from Zion. God says, I am the sovereign redeemer. God says, I will redeem the time just for you. God says, I will redeem the time just for you. The Lord says, if I take care of the ravens, will I not take care of a child of God? My child? Oh, I want you to catch it and understand it on today. The Lord got me speaking from my heart on today. I came to say one thing, but there are people that's watching me that's wondering, when will God do it? When will you do it, God? God, when will you answer the prayer? Today's title is Channeling Through Life. The manifested glory. Oh, the manifested glory, meaning your eyes can see the glory of God. Oh, I want you to talk about it. In the book of Exodus, huh? 33. Chapter 33, what is that scripture number? I'm sorry? 18 through 20, do you have it? Put it up on the screen. When Moses came down, my God, from Zion, and he had a, a veil over his face because the glory of God was so bright, my God, it could blind the people of Israel. They could have seen the manifested glory of God on the servant Moses. Right now, I'm reading the book of Joshua. Moses just died. I'm reading the book of Joshua. God says, it's time for me to show you my glory. Some of you say, I've been waiting a long time for God to show me the blessing, the answer prayer. I've been waiting for God to, to show my millionaire status. Not me just talk about it, but that I am a millionaire. That I can see the manifested money in my hands. Some of you are waiting to, to see that double anointing activate in your life. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to show you my glory. What does the scripture say? He says, now please show me your glory, my God. His manifested presence. And the Lord answers, he said, I will cause all of my goodness to pass in front of you. How many people ready for God to pass them? Not pass your by. Well, pass your by. Like the old Baptist hymn used to say. How many people are ready for God to pass in front of them? Oh, that the residue is the manifestation of your answer prayer. Oh, I want you to catch it. The Lord says, I will announce my name. In other words, the Lord is going to allow you to know that I, the Lord thy God, I was the one that did it. If you are watching me right now, you are getting ready to experience God's manifested glory in the earth realm. Manifested prayer. My God, if you receive it, I promise you, you will see it. If you receive it, I promise you, you will see it. See, I receive it. See, I receive it in my spirit and I receive it in my soul. Oh, I want you on today. Go in the Bible and read it. Exodus 33. Three, three, the three keep coming up. Why? Because we're in the third month. The third month reset. Revitalize and restore. He talked about Joel 2 and 25. God says, I'm restoring the year. Shelly, I'm giving you back everything that the devil has taken away from you. The Lord says, I'm going to even give back the things you took away from yourself. Oh my God, from dying. The Lord says that I am the sovereign, sovereign redeemer. Oh, I want you to catch it. It's glory enough. I believe it's the presence of God. I believe it's the presence of God. I ask God every time I set, I say, God, come set in me. Oh, how many people ask God to come set in them? That when you 
project out to the people. That is no longer you speaking, but it is the Lord thy God speaking to the people. That's right, Gwen Kirkland. She said, I receive it in my spirit and I receive it in my soul. Oh, something is activating inside of me because God is trying to wake you up so that you don't miss the moment when he passed you by. He told his servant Moses, he said, I'm going to pass in front of you. Don't be so busy and so distracted that when God decides to pass in front of you, that you miss it because of your blindness. I once was blind, but now I see, oh, God's amazing grace. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Amazing grace. What is grace? Grace is, 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 is God giving you something that you don't deserve. Grace is God giving you something that you do not deserve. The Lord says, I'm going to pass by in front of you. But don't miss it. God said, don't miss this season of my grace and my mercy towards you. God says, great is my kindness towards you. Oh, but I've been through this and, and I've been through that. The Lord says, don't miss me. He said, I'm getting ready to show you my glory. Those of you that's looking for the, the beauty for access. Oh, I had a beautiful experience on yesterday. People say, you know, Minister Javon, you're not talking too much or you don't text too much. No, no, because Minister Javon is consecrated. I only speak to you who God has allowed me to speak to in this season. Everybody don't have access to me. When my phone rings, I don't even answer it. My calls are, are stand and monitor. Because God is speaking in this season. And see, I can't miss when he passed in front of me. I want you to catch what I'm saying. The manifested glory. When God passed in front of you. The glory cloud that comes down. The answer prayer is a sign and a result that the Lord has passed you by. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Oh, I heard it in my spirit. My God. God says, this is miracle month. Oh, this is miracle month. At my church, Choice International Ministry, we like to say miracle Monday. No, this is miracle month. God says, this is miracle month. God says, not for some of you, for everyone that's watching me. It's Miracle Month. I know it shows different numbers, but we got a lot of people watching me. My God, from Zion. I want you to catch what I'm saying. You need a miracle from heaven? You need a third dimensional miracle. You need an answer from God. The Lord says, your faith cannot faint. In this season. The Lord says your faith. Cannot faint. In this season. It doesn't matter what you see. It's what I said. Oh I just blessed myself. It doesn't matter what you see with your eyes. God says it's what I said. Your faith cannot faint. And become fatigued. In this season. If your faith. Faint and become fatigued in this season, you will surely fall. Don't fall. <clears throat> Don't fall in this season. If your faith faint and become fatigued in this season, you will surely fall. Oh, I come to warn you on today. My God from dying. The anointing that just hit my spirit, just hit the pit of my stomach. God said, don't let me pass you by. The Lord done changed the whole message. He done changed the whole message. God says, a miracle month. Three, the number three. Three. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Peter, James, and John. God works in threes. My God from Zion. 
I want you to catch it on today. I want you to allow the law to pass in front of you. It can't happen on the fourth or one. That's mighty funny the world says that, that, that April 1st is April Fool's Day. If you miss God passing by in this month of your life, in this dispensation, in this time, then by the time of April the 1st, the enemy would have fooled you. Oh, and it won't be an April's fool. Don't allow the enemy to fool you with distractions and being around people that don't matter. I don't hang around people that the Lord does not allow me to be with in certain seasons of my life. A clear theaster says there's a season for everything. Some people carry the spirit of chaos with them. Some people carry the spirit of division with them. Some people carry the spirit of lying on them. And you're asking yourself, God, why do I not see the answer? Because those spirits have transferred from those people onto you. So then what happens is you go into what I would call a holding pattern. Why? Because the anointing of God cannot come and fall upon you. You can be under an open heaven and nothing can touch you because you have the wrong spirit upon you. Oh, I want you to catch the mysteries of God. You can pray no more delays all you want. If the wrong spirit has attached to you, then you shall be in delay. Oh, I, I want you to catch what I just said. That was good. That was a mystery God just gave me. Let's talk about Lot's wife. She turned around, she turned into a pillar of salt. The people that you're hanging with, that's living in past situations, talking about past things, even past things concerning you. Your blessings and the things that you're praying for, it will surely fall to the ground as salt. I want you to catch what I'm saying. And too much salt can make you sick. Too much salt can make you sick. When people put salt in your game, they're trying to stop your progress. Am I right about it? When people put salt in your game, they are trying to stop you from acquiring whatever you're trying to get. Challenging and channeling through life. This is life lessons I'm talking to you today. Because I want you to catch it. But I want you to keep it. I like being with the minister Javon. But they don't really like being with you. You have to be a person of loyalty. How do you know someone is loyal? They do what they say. Whatever that person said they're going to do, they do what they say. Some of you have to get rid of people. So that when God passes in front of you, that you are not blinded by distractions and the wrong spirits upon you. Well, I plead the blood of Jesus over me. The Lord hung out with sinners too. Jesus did hang out with sinners. But there's a time for everything. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. You have to know how to channel through life. You have to know when you have to go and be with a certain group. You have to know you got to pull away from a certain group. You have to know when it's time to just be with you and God. You have to know when it's time to be with people. You have to know when it's time to suck with kings. You have to know when it's time to suck with sinners. You have to know the timing of God because God is time. Channeling through life. Because we want to see God's manifested glory. Meaning we want to see the prayers answered. I want to see my husband stop cheating. I want to see my children come out of jail. I want to see that this sickness is leaving me. Manifested glory. The Lord says, okay, you want to see it. Now I've sent Minister Javon just to warn you. Oh, I hope you catch it. In the third month. He said in the third month. That you are not fooled 
sealed on April the 1st. And that the enemy does not seal the blessing from you. He says, I'm getting ready to pass in front of you. Oh, he said, I'm getting ready to show you my glory. We'll be talking about Exodus 33 and 18. 33. I'll tell you earlier, the seed today, to seed into this world is $30. Three, zero. My God from Zion, Miss Andrea, pen in the thread. 30, the number three. Don't let the third month pass you by. Well, I don't want to see. Let me tell you something. Miss Andrea can tell you. Last week, I needed a thousand dollars. And I needed it the same day. God sent that thousand dollars to me to see. Why? Because I tied at my church. I sow seed at my church. I even seed into Selah, which is a blessed ground, lucrative ground. And God answered me on the same day because I have equity with God that I can go to the banker, my God from Zion, and pull out and withdraw what I need. How do I have equity? Because I sow seeds. I pay my tithes. I pay my I sow seeds. Are you sowing into good ground? Is that the, oh, God says, talk about it. Are you sowing into a ministry that has the oil of overflow? When people sow into this ministry, when I wake up to cash out, people tell me their success stories. Some people are in waiting. Why do they have to wait? Because the oil on me. The oil is on me. I always have to wait. But how many people know that the best things come to people that wait? People that's close to me, when they sow seeds, they have to wait a long time. I say, that's because you are around my oil. Because God is a master teacher. What am I saying? Sow seeds to meet the need. You cannot expect for a plant to grow without planting a seed. That's crazy for you to go to God and say, do it, God, do it, God. And you have not seeded in the ground. But you have to seed in good soil. That's what some of us are not catching. Some of us are in ministry that have no oil. No oil. And that's why your seed does not grow. Your seed does not grow because you are sowing into the wrong ground. When you see a ministry blessed, then that is a good ministry to sow your seed in. See our productions is blessed. We get cash apps all day. Prayer requests, emails of people asking me to pray for them because of the oil of the intercessor that's on my life. I didn't just start praying. I've been praying a long time. Miss Andrea just alerted that my phone is going to go out. I want you to understand what I'm saying on today. You want to see God's manifested glory? When he pass you by, you better have something in the bank with the banker. That he can use that for you as a withdrawal. Well, well, God, you don't have to give God nothing to give God or to get something. Are you out of your mind? People that saying that? Didn't God give us Jesus? That we would have eternal life in exchange? God is a God of exchange. When I say, are you out of your mind? I'm not insulting anyone. What I'm saying is, you are not living according to the word of God. So that means you are not in your right mind to think that. So you are out of your mind. The mind that God has given you to understand his word. You have to understand the order of God. The order I heard of the kingdom. Put the, put the information up. You have to understand that God says, I'm getting ready to pass in front of you. He says, I'm getting ready to pass in front of you. You have to make sure that you are prepared 
from the past. If you want to see God's glory, if you want to be able to tell your story and your testimony, you have to do it God's way. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to pass in front of you. Those that have sown seed, have you sown in the right ground? If you want to sow a seed, the number is 30. Why three minutes to Javon? Because we are in the third month. Ever since I was in my early youth, the Lord has shown me 333 three, three everywhere. 333, 333, 333, 33, 3, 3, 3, pounding it, 3, everywhere on licensing, times, numbers, computers, 333. Three, three. Even at a football game, the, the score would be 33. Oh, I'm talking right now. Because God is God of the universe. And he speaks through the universe. I want you to understand because I don't want you to miss it. Some of you all have been in ministries for years. And you've been praying 20 years for something that has never come to pass. That's too long. Somebody said that's too long is too long. Am I right about it? The Holy Spirit said take it down. Whoever needed God. Too long is too long. I come to talk to you on today. I come to encourage you on today. The Lord says, great is thy faithfulness. The Lord says, I've already prepared to pass in front of you, Moses. Some of you are Moses of your family. Some of you need God to pass in front of you. That his rewalk of God, the breath of God, the God of Zoe life. Mm. You need the breath to blow on you. Not just to blow just for you, but to blow for your family. When I was praying today, the Lord told me, he says, I want you to talk about the angelics real quick. He said, I want you to name every angel. To let my people know that there is help for them in the earth realm. My favorite angels to pray to are the archangels of heaven. Who is around God's throne day in and day in because there's no night in heaven. The archangels of heaven would be Uriel, the angel of fire. Gabriel, the messenger angel. Michael, the mighty warring angel. One of God's strongest angels. Raphael, the angel of healing. Jehudadel, the angel that helps with self-esteem. A lot of you all need him. The one that gets rid of envy and strife and jealousy amongst the people of God. Then we have Salida Dell. Salida Dell is the, the angel of prayer and worship. Every time you pray, you should say, I invite the angels to lead Adele to come with me as I worship the king of kings. Then they have Barashia, the guardian angel, the top guardian angel that has 496,000 angels that work for him. Angels are called watchers. They watch you day in and day out. In the second dimension, there are demons and where witches and warlocks and soothsayers live to try to destroy the manifested glory in your life. But God says today, I want you to call upon heaven as you wait for me and as you roar for me. But Minister Javon, I don't roar. Yes, you roar because you are a soldier of the most high, awesome, and mighty God. You first need to know that you are a soldier in the kingdom of God, in the army of God. When Jesus comes back, when Armageddon hits, I'm not going to get into the, the last day's messages, but when he rides upon his white horse, my God, when he comes back to judge, we will be with him. We won't have to fight because it's going to already be won. But we will be in the army 
of the most high, awesome and mighty God. God don't want no coward soldier. Angels are not fat babies with wings. They are mighty. They're tall and they're strong. They stand with a shield and a sword to fight for you. Oh, I feel the glory. You are not in this alone, right? You are not in this alone, husband. You are not in this alone, grandmother. You are not in this alone, parent. You are not in this alone, child. All of us are children of the most high, awesome, and mighty God. Where we cry out, Abba, Father, which means our Father. I want you to call upon the angels of heaven. Angels cannot assist you unless you call them. The minister Javon, I'm scared to see an angel. Call upon the angels to help you. They are ready and they are ready to serve you. I want you to see the manifested glory of God in your life. I'm getting ready to get off. Because God says, I'm getting ready to show you my glory. The thing that you've been waiting for is going to happen this month. So to see, to meet the needs. Don't forget to sow the seed. The information is in the prayer. I want you to call on the watchers today. I decree and declare that every angel that's supposed to be protecting you is protecting you even now. I call upon the Lord to dispatch every angel concerning you. That the archangels of heaven protect you on this day. That the mighty cherubims and the high seraphims of heaven protect you on this day, anointing you with the glory of God. That nothing by any means will harm you. I kill every stop, every block, every hindrance. Oh, that's trying to stop your blessings from coming forth. So that when God passes you by, when God passes in front of you, see, God is not passing behind you. See, Moses saw the, the backside of God because no one can see the face of God and live. But God says, I'm going to pass in front of you. How many people know that we can have a blessing right in front of us and we can't even see? Don't be blind on today. God says, I'm getting ready to pass right in front of you. That when I pass by, you will see the manifest the glory of God. God says, you're channeling through life. You're channeling, but God says, I'm in the water. And the water will not consume you. This happened to me and that happened to me. And God says, the water will not consume you. Not this month. Not this season. When we reach the, 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 the fourth month, it will be another dispensation in time the Holy Spirit says, oh, oh my God from Zion. God says it will be another dispensation in time in the fourth month. The Lord says, today is the 25th. Two plus five is seven. Seven? The number of completion in the third month, like Jesus said when he when he took his last breath, he says, It is finished. That problem you're dealing with is finished. I hear it in the spirit. That backstabbing that you're dealing with, the Lord said, It is finished in the third month on the 25th day. Oh, I want you to catch it. The sickness that you're dealing with, the Lord says it is finished. The harassment that you're dealing with, people that's, that's saying things to you to tear down you, the Lord says it is finished. The misunderstanding, God says it's finished. Not having enough money, the Lord says it is finished. I want you to speak it out of your mouth. I will never be broke another day in my life. Ever since I said that, and I really missed it with my feet because it didn't sink, so I didn't fall. 
I've never been broke a day in my life. My assistant can tell you that. I can get down to a dollar and something is coming. The Lord will make that dollar multiply because I am a seed sower. Sow the $30 seed for the third month. Sometimes when you want something from God, you got to be specific with God. See, God, this is for the third month because it is finished. See, God, I don't want to see this in my life anymore. God is faithful. He is faithful to his promises. And he is faithful to his people. The angelic are waiting to assist you. So that when God passes in front of you, you will be able to see his glory. The Holy Spirit said, it's time for me to get off. My God from Zion. Miss Holland saw the $30 seed because she is ready to see it come to pass. Why? We want to see it come to pass because God says, I'm getting ready to pass in front of you. So, oh my God, I'm trying to get off. God says, I'm getting ready to pass in front of you. So if God is going to pass in front of you, it's going to come to pass. Are we getting ready to go into the Passover season? Am I right about it? The resurrection season. God says, I'm getting ready to pass over you. I know we, we know that scripture that the Lord is going to pass over and, and that not going to hit. No, God says, I'm about to pass in front of you. Pass over you. Don't you miss God through your blindness, through negative people, through being consumed with too much worry, dirty, march the third month. God says, I'm ready for you to march into your destiny. God says, I'm coming to give you a speed shot. My phone, is it plugged up? I need you to hit it. No distraction. No distraction. My God from Oh, I want to show you today. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to pass over you, to pass in front of you. God says, when I pass over you, my glory will consume you. Oh, that the waters will not overtake you. How many people ready for your Red Sea experience? Oh, the Lord says, the waters shall not touch you. You shall walk through on dry land. How many people ready to enter, to enter the promised land? The land that God promised you. Am I right about it? I see the screen trying to mess up, but I killed the devil by fire in the name of Jesus. My God from Zion, I want you to catch it. I'm getting ready to get off. As we enter into the resurrection season, God says, I'm about to pass in front of you. God says, I'm going to pass over you and my glory will consume you. And kill up everything that does not belong. God says my holy fire. Will be in the breath of God. That his consuming fire. Will consume every enemy of you. And everything that does not belong. God says in this season. I will separate the wheat. From the tear. Oh I want you to catch it. God is good. He's a good God. He's a promising God. He's a faithful God. Great is thy faithfulness on this day. I hope you saw the $30 seed. I'm getting ready to get off. I hope that this message blessed you on today. I'm not going to keep you over time because I don't want you to get timed out. God is a stickler for time. Sometimes we can preach too long and people get timed out and get tired of you talking. So I want you to catch what I just said. And I want you to keep it. This is the life lesson edition. Today we talked about channeling through life. 
the manifested glory. God says, I'm about to pass in front of you, Moses. He said, I need you to save your family. The Lord says, the glory that's going to consume you will be enough of the weight of my glory. Oh, the weight of his glory that can save your whole family. God says, I'm getting ready to pass in front of you, Moses. Everybody watching me on today, you are a Moses of your family. That's why you have the scripture. Exodus 33 and 18. Am I right about it? I love you. But God, God loves you more. Don't be a fool on April the 1st. Catch the glory of God and keep it. It's going to bless you. It is going to bless your family. If you are just tuning in to see Lot Spot, the virtual view, God's view about you, I want you to first do me a favor. Do Minister Javon a favor. Share the thread. But not only share the thread, I want you to go back and I want you to watch it. And I want you to take notes. I want you to watch to see what God is saying. Habakkuk, the second, the, the second chapter. God says, I'm passing you by. In this Passover season, I'm ready to show you my glory. I'm passing over, Moses. Don't you be blinded. I once was blind, but now, after watching this broadcast, you see. Oh, my God, from Zion, I'm getting off. Thank you for watching c Lock Spot. May God bless you real good. Remember to call on the watchers, because they are watching and fighting just for you. Please do not let the Lord pass you by. God bless you. God, we bless you all this week, oh God. Oh God, I thank you for every listener, oh God, under the sound of my voice. Oh God, we lift you up, oh God. Oh, this week, oh God. Great is thy faithfulness, oh God. As the resurrection, oh God, season continues to approach us, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for the breaking anointing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are breaking up the fallow ground, oh God, for your people on this week. Oh God, we say thank you. For the breaking anointing, oh God. We thank you, God, that you are loosing and releasing things to us in this season. Oh God, we are grateful for the breaking anointing, oh God. This season, oh God, by the blood of the Lamb. Oh God, we thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for eternal life and salvation, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, God, for your only begotten Son, oh God. Your beloved Son, oh God, Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh God, we thank you right now. Oh God, we cry out to you right now, oh God. As we call you our Father, oh God. Our Father, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, oh God. This resurrection season, oh God, for the breaking anointing, oh God. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you, God, for breaking the devil's hold off of our finances, oh God. We thank you, God, for breaking up the fallow ground, oh God. That prayers, oh God, will be released and delivered, oh God, in this season. Oh God, we thank you for the breaking anointing, oh God. Break loose and break through, oh God, in this season, oh God, of our lives, oh God. God, we are grateful for the breaking anointing. Oh, if you are listening on the sound of my voice, say break through in the name of Jesus. Break through my finances, oh God. Break through, oh God, my health, oh God. Break through my family concerns, oh God. Break through right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for the breaking anointing. We thank you, God, for the breakthroughs, oh God, in this season and in this week, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, that you are doing it not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, oh God. We thank you, God, that you have breaking us from Satan's hold, oh God. We thank you, God, for breaking up, oh God, the things that don't belong in our lives. Oh God, we thank you for breaking us from that relationship, oh God. We thank you, God, for the breaking anointing. 
Oh God, we thank you all today. Oh God, we thank you, God. Oh God, we thank you for breakups, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we may become closer to you. Oh God, we thank you for the breaking anointing, oh God, in this season, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we are getting ready, oh God, to experience daybreak in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we are getting ready to see the light at the end of the tunnel, oh God. Oh God, right now, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you for victory in this season. Oh God, we thank you for the breaking anointing. Oh God, breaking up the fallow ground, oh God. Breaking up the holes of the enemy concerning our prophecies. Oh God, breaking up everything, oh God, that's trying to break us, oh God. We thank you this season, oh God, for the breaking anointing. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are breaking up the fallow ground, Lord. Around us, oh God, then we receive, oh God, everything you have for us in this season, on this week. Oh God, bless the nations of the world. Thank you, God, for breaking through even at the White House, oh God. Thank you, God, for breaking through, oh God. We thank you for the stimulus checks, oh God. We thank you, God, for the ways of provision that you have made. God, we thank you that you have broken through, oh God, Congress, oh God, that your people, oh God, will be blessed. We thank you for the breaking anointing. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we have not broken down in this season, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we have not broken down in this season, oh God. We thank you, God, that you have pushed us through to break through and to break out. Oh God, we thank you, God, for the breaking anointing, oh God, on oh, this week. We thank you, God, for breaking the back of the enemy, oh God. We thank you, God, that the angels, oh God, fight for us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So God, we say thank you. For break out, oh God, and break through. As you break in our lives, oh God, we thank you, God, for the breaking anointing in this season, oh God. Oh God, I bless you for the, everyone under the sound of my voice. I bless you, God, for the people that's under the sound of my voice. Continue, oh God, to break through in their lives, oh God. As you break in, oh God, souls and salvation, oh God, it's the honor of the day. So God, I thank you. And I praise you for this prayer. We thank you for the breakthrough anointing in this season, this resurrection season. Oh God, I lift this prayer up to you in the third dimension where you live. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. God, we go God. Oh God, I thank you for every list. Quarantine to always being on the scene. Sela Productions Incorporated has birthed Sela Spot, and it is hot, 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 flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire. As Minister Giovanni Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the kavod, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Sela Spot, the virtual view, God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercies renew every morning. Join us for fire, straight down from heaven, as we go to war through prayer with Sila Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Giovanni Filia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Sila Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to line at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Selah Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good, harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing the Fresh wind blowing the Fresh wind blowing this room, yeah. Holy Ghost fire. Yeah.